hello to all my lovely subscribers. I would like to take this opportunity to remind you all that the yearly readings for 2022 um, are out. I have posted those and they are available for you to book your own personalised yearly reading via my website. Please note that this offer is only available till January 31, 2022. So it's a limited time offer. So if you're interested, make sure that you book your yearly reading before that offer expires so that you don't miss out. Hello my lovely Capricorn, welcome to your reading for November 2021. This is a general reading for you Capricorn, it's a reading for Capricorn Sun Rising and Moon Sign. If you'd like to book a private reading with me you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading from there that will be specific to you. <clears throat> My yearly readings, in case you've missed the introduction, are out. Uh, if you would like a personalised yearly 2022 reading, that offer is available till the end of January. So if you would like to book that reading, it's a limited time offer. Make sure you book that before the offer runs out. My lovely Capricornians, the... And it, um, the channeled message for you this month, it's going to be, it's going to be a, an absolutely magical, hu it's a huge energetic month for you. There's going to be a, a depth of energy. Um, it's life changing. Whether you choose to embrace it or not, that's up to you. The, the, extent to which this wave of energy that's coming your way is going to impact on you is going that's your that's where your free will comes into play they're telling me so you can choose to ignore the whole thing you can choose you can choose to ride the wave and embrace that that change that energetic change that's coming in for some of you it's going to be that internal shift that is going to be internally profound but people around you may not and see that change but you're certainly going to feel it but it can also be a change that manifests physically for you uh, bringing in it's massive it's a massive change that's coming in on a on a um what do i want to say on a universal level there is going to be a, a level of awareness that's coming through for you that you haven't experienced before this is a once in a lifetime sort of event for you for everyone but you're lucky enough to be experiencing it in November so really work with the energy that you're feeling that comes through for you it's going to come through right through your heart chakra through your solar plexus through the very core of you and some of you are going to feel it with intensity and it's exciting it's not something to be um, to shy away from if you're ready for it, if you're ready to embrace it. So there is absolutely no judgment here. Oh, thank you. If you're ready to embrace it, go for it because it's going to be huge. Ah, there you go. What did, what's come up here? <clears throat> Anima Mundi. Anima Mundi. This is the last card in the deck of the archetypes deck that I'm using. This encompasses all the energy from all the other cards in the deck and it, the journey takes you, the culmination of the journey takes you to this card, the last card. This card is about universal meaning. This is about working with universal energy, having a universal awareness. Now, it can be some work that you're doing, I'm here in Capricorn, on a global level. So are you fighting for the environment? Are you uh, fighting for, for the underdog? Um, whatever it is you're, you're fighting for, it's, this, is, this is the end of the line. This is the end of the journey. This is what counts. This is what counts. I want to read, read it to you because I feel like it's important to be read. It's right at the back, right at the back. Right, let's have a look. I want to read this because it's massive. What a card to get, my lovely Capricorn. It, it, it coincides with the channeled uh, message that I'm getting for you. The embrace 
of Anima Mundi is available anytime, anywhere, to anyone, day or night, rich or poor. It is a process of unveiling our resistance to its love, the universal love. Anima Mundi is the energy behind the world card in the traditional tarot deck. Both carry themes of universal unity, completeness and embrace. So you've, you know, you really reached this point of complete completeness. This card indicates an, initi an initiation on the level of the soul. You will awaken the unique light, light within and witness how this light contributes to the radiance of the entire universe. So there's a really deep spiritual understanding coming your way. You will sense yourself as a critical note in the cosmic orchestra. Isn't that lovely? Destiny is altered as you hear the enchanted melody melody of all living things and I'm also getting tongue-tied I'm losing my words words and, and um, what they're telling me here is words are not required this is go this goes beyond our vocabulary beyond our words wow it's quite it's quite exciting for you what changes are coming in what what area in your life if not all areas are you becoming enlightened about The mystical shaman oracle. Let's let's take a card from that. To, let's get some more detail. What's going on? What change is happening here for my lovely Capricornians? Capricorn. Wow. There we go. Right. Okay. Here it is. Oh wow. The sun. The sun. This is going to illuminate every aspect of your life. This is going to illuminate your very core. There's no turning back from this point. The energy is just going to be explosive in your life. Expect the unexpected, they're telling me here. And embrace it because the outcome is going to be absolutely astounding, absolutely amazing for you. Let's... Let's work on the Celtic cross. Let's get more detail, Capricorn. Wow, cards for Capricorn, please. Can I have the Celtic cross to explain? That's quite intense. I mean, that's all you need, really. That's all you need to listen to. It, understand that there is such a, a depth of change that's coming for you, a depth of awareness that's coming for you, that's being offered to you. It's something you will get through um, connection with spirit, he, who's who's the healer? Who heals? Who who heals? It comes through your healing. They're telling me here there's a heal. There's healing. If that's you, um, this is going to be very very um, significant for you. We're all healers to some degree. You know, we're all healers in everything that we do. Everything we contribute makes us a healer in some way. Are you that friend that, that listens to people? People are attracted to you and they, they, um, they want to confide in you. There's that, you know. There's preparing a meal for a neighbour that's not well. There's a healing there, you know. Things are going to be happening very, very. This is going to hit you. Beginning of, I'm um, here in the beginning of November. It's like whammo. It's just going to hit you. It's going to hit you. For some of you, it's already started, and for, timing's going to be a little bit different. But I feel like um, I'm going to stay with what I've said. The beginning of November is going to see big change, a big shift within you. Suddenly, what you're doing and how you're doing it's no longer going to fit. Suddenly, you're not happy about where your life's going or what's around you. Um, it's just, this. It, this wave of change is going to hit you so profoundly and so quickly. Um, it's about working with it. It's about um, understanding yourself, working with the self, um, understanding with what, uh, working with what's around you. It is going to cause you to do a lot of inner work. It's going to cause you to want to bring in a lot of change in your life. You're going to be busy. There's busyness around you. There's work to be done. There's busyness around you. It's, it, in that busyness, you see, it's that awareness. It's about 
um, there's going to be triggers that are going to bring things up from the past. Things need to be cleared. And gee whiz, they're going to be cleared really quickly. Anything that's been going on in the past that is stuck there that you haven't released is going to come up for you and, and it's time to release it. The more you release, the more you unblock, the more of this energy is going to flow through every chakra point, lining everything up. What triggers are there? You don't have to understand who, what, where, how, why. Just understand I'm feeling angry. I'm going to release that anger. I'm feeling sadness. I'm going to release that sadness. I'm going to forgive myself and others in my past. Release, just release. You don't have to get caught up in the details of um, he said, she said, um, who's wrong, there's blame. It, you know, Don't even buy into that. That's the wrong sort of energy. That's the wrong sort of energy. This energy is going to propel you to a new beginning. There's going to be a new you, a rebirth. And it's about the fool moves forward into the future, jumps empty-handed into the void um, without baggage. There's no baggage with the, with, the, um, with the fool. Leaves everything behind. This is starting afresh. This is starting anew. The fool is the first card in the tarot deck, and so your new journey begins. How do you want that new journey to begin? Do you want to drag with you all the stuff from the past? What are you needing to release? Who are you needing to release? It's going to, it's going to dictate how you move forward. So, so really do that cleansing at the very beginning. Don't feel like there's going to be a choice. It's going to come up. It's going to come up. So don't suppress it. Don't walk, don't shy away from what comes up for you because it leads to the Knight of Cups, a new emotional beginning. Your heart chakra is purified, they're telling me here. Your heart chakra is cleansed. Your heart chakra is open and light and radiant and you're ready to charge ahead. You're ready to move into your future. You're ready to embrace change. You're ready to embrace newness on an emotional level. That doesn't mean a new relationship. It means looking at your emotions in a different way, not packaging them away and being numb, but really experiencing life, experiencing events, embracing others, understanding, having a depth of understanding with others. Your heart chakra is also how you communicate with spirit. So unblocking and healing that will open that up for you. Can I have a card? That card came through quickly. The nine of earth, it's going to bring to you a big shift. That's going to bring a big shift for you and it's going to bring you great abundance. And it's, you know, love, abundance in love and understanding and forgiveness and um, those sorts of things. Beauty. You're going to view the world in a very different way. There's a big shift coming here for you and it's going to happen early. It's going to happen early. There's a lot there for you, my lovely Capricornians. This is the most intense reading um, of, the, of the month, I want to say to you. The biggest shift is coming for you. Don't fear it. Don't, don't shy away from it. It's going to the Knight of Pentacles. You're ready. The energy here is I'm ready to forge ahead. I'm ready to go ahead on a practical level. This is your suit and you're ready to, uh, this is the earth suit. This is, um, you're ready to move forward. You're ready to embrace the change. You're You've worked on yourself. You've got your armour. Your armour is the work that you've done on yourself, the convictions that you have, the dealing with the past. I really love that. It's going to lead to you setting new goals. It doesn't matter how many goals you set. New goals, new dreams, new ambitions, uh, new things you want to achieve. And a lot of them are not about the self. <clears throat> it's about what you can do for humanity. There's so many of you that are light workers that are going to give to humanity, that are going to grow, that are going to just, you, I mean, how am I, they're showing me this vision of this light just radiating out of you, these great beams of light coming out of you. Release the past. Don't be tempted to stay in the past. Don't be tempted to listen to others. Don't be tempted 
to allow the ego to say, no, look, that's ridiculous. You can't do that. You know, what about what this person did to you? And what about, how can you forgive that? And what about that situation, you know, and that blame, you know, it's all their fault. And how can you forgive that? That's the ego trying to keep you where you, where they, where it wants you to be, where it feels comfortable. Don't be tempted to take shortcuts. Don't be tempted to shy away. This is about your life's purpose. This is about your journey here. This is about you moving forward into the next decade. Um, you're needed. Your awakening is needed on a global level, one by one. Your path is, is forged. It's about moving through it. Don't shy away from what you need to walk through. That's your, your shadow. That's your blocks. Don't shy away from that. Go through that because it will lead you to um, the, the completions. Once you've done that, you won't have to do it again. There is a completion about that. There is a completion about that cleansing. That's fantastic. That's fantastic because whatever you face, there's a doorway. There's going to be a, a rebirthing of you, a new you, a new way of looking at things, a new way of what you can give humanity, what you can give the people around you, what you can give your family, what you can give your children, what you can give your work colleagues, whatever it is. There's nothing that you can't overcome. There's nothing there that is, is uh, you're unable to overcome. Soulmates. So who, your team is there, who, who, whoever you need to help you, ask for the assistance, ask for the help because they are there. Um, you're going to make some very significant connections with others, with soulmates. This is also about the card of destiny, the card of destiny, the card of karma. You know, and penguins, you know, when they find their soulmate, when they mate, they mate for life. They mate for life. It's a strong bond, a strong connection. If you're looking for um, a soulmate, then it certainly will come through with this energy. There, there will be someone that will stand by your side. You'll also make um, significant friendships, people that will stand with you. You're, you're finding your tribe, they're telling me here. You are finding your tribe. Your final card, we're back at the beginning. We've come full circle, back to the beginning. Here's the sun. You've got two suns, positive growth, change, support. There's nothing standing in your way to achieve whatever it is you want to achieve. <clears throat> Even if it's starting a new business, you know, um, it, it's going to be a business that contributes to society, that contributes to people. <clears throat> They're also telling me here, if your business is really successful, give a portion of, of your profits or, or uh, donate some of your product to the needy. Give back to the world. Give back to the world. Wow, okay, this is a card from, from the Lantern Oracle. Wishful Expectations. Acknowledge the smoke and mirrors in your life for what they are. And that's it. Look, work through it. Work through the smoke, smoke and mirrors to get to the truth, to the sun, to the light, to the be, being illuminated, to having that depth of understanding. You need to unblock. And that's at the very beginning with the judgment card. What needs to be released to, for you to continue on in your journey? Divine abundance. This is such a powerful reading. Divine abundance. Thank you. What have you got? Oh, you've got two. Okay. Deepening. Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul will begin to long for non-grasping, detachment and surrender. They bring the peace of God. Well, if that's not where you're at, if that's not where you're at, black cat magic, this is where you're at in the month of November. The doubts and fears still come up. You don't believe anymore that they're you. Liberation. So it's also liberation for you. And they're your fears, your doubts, your judge, the judgment, releasing wishful expectations. 
the smoke and mirrors, letting all of that go <clears throat> so that you can have the deepening, a deeper understanding. So telling. So true. <clears throat> They're also telling me here, Capricorn, that everything you need will be provided for you in November. So don't forget to ask for what you need. Don't forget to ask for what you're wanting to bring in because it will be there for you. You're supported every, every step of the way. My lovely Capricornians, what a wonderful reading. This is so dynamic, so powerful. It's not a long one, but it's, it's intense. There's a lot of information there for you um, and for you to decide, you know, you're the fork in the road, which path are you going to take? It's up to you. There's no judgment, absolutely none. But there's an opportunity for huge, huge light and, and enlightenment um, and, and change for the good, for your good as well, bringing all, everything that you need into your life. There's nothing that, <clears throat> that is not there for you. So there's mind yourself talk, don't have a sense of lack because there is no lack, particularly with the magic that's coming through in November for you. If you would like a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading from there. Don't forget the yearly readings are a limited time only. If you would like a personalised year, yearly reading, they're available till the end of January to book. Love, light and blessings to you, my lovely Capricorn. <clears throat>